Now, I don't normally do review videos, but quite frankly, this one needs to be done because holy f the last episode of Carmilla, I do. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to Jeffrey's Corner. Today is going to be slightly different because I am an excitable little cream puff fan girl. I watch things and I cannot process them. There's going to be a lot of swearing in this because I can't contain my emotions. Cannot. If you haven't seen the last episode yet, uh, please go watch it before you watch this because spoilers. Spoiler alert. Millions of spoilers. Everything happened. Everything you can think of happened. Everything that you most likely didn't think of happened. People that you thought were dead were not dead. And quite frankly, Perry needs counselling. If you don't watch Carmilla and you've got like a couple of minutes in your day free and you fancy watching a web series about vampires and massive demons and a single camera setup done in sort of like a live stream sort of way this is the show for you because she goes down she goes down frequently often and with massive consequences so season two just finished i've literally just watched it and i spent the entire 16 minutes just screaming like a pterodactyl I nearly said pterodactyl my brain that's how much it's blown my mind. I want to say all of the letters in a word. <laughs> First off, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that just because you saw someone die on the screen doesn't mean that they can't come back using DD magic. So let's just start from the end because... Huh. First of all, Perry slash Deanie. We kind of all knew that, you know, Perry has some sort of like manifestation of the Dean, but the fact that she's actually pretty much being possessed by the Dean is fantastic. Obviously not for Perry. Um, Frost is great. And then Danny comes back using voodoo magic and is a, what I assume is a vampire, is very seductive. Got all that seduction thing going on, which is fine and then there's Carmilla being all adorable and making jokes and chocolate and smirking and just generally trying to cheer up Laura and that, that warmed my heart you know because they do love each other but it's it's very it's almost tainted because of everything that's happened but on the base fundamental level they still love each other and we got to see a little bit more of that. I've got to say props to LaFontaine because watching them tear up and just everything that you would do with the face that was just just phenomenal. I can't even form sentences that's how much I enjoyed it. <laughs> Worrying about uh, Perry and JP and it just it hit me right here man it hit me. <laughs> I'm fine emotionally crippled now <laughs> but I'm fine anyway I would just like to say thank you to everyone that was involved in that show because that is the reason that I'm, I am giddy I am beside myself because holy shit you know normally season finales they, they can either go really well or they can fall flat and this one just ticks every box and I wish I could experience that again for the first time because I've already mentioned I was screaming didn't I? <laughs> should I? I don't know if I should censor the amount of times I say swearies um, but I just wanted to say thank you because that was an adventure and I can't wait for season three and as always if you enjoyed this video please press the appropriate button and subscribe because I do make new videos every now and again yeah Okay, bye. So, season three? Please? <sighs> oh, hmm. I've lost all my words, so I just can't process what's just happened. <laughs> I have now watched this twice, and honestly, um, I am still not.
below. Yes, I would like to order a full four cup, full course. Girls don't come in four courses. I am delirious and having issues. Hey guys, and welcome to Jeffrey's Corner. I forgot to clap. I am aware I'm yelling. And I'm so glad no one's home because they probably thought I was being murdered. The amount that I was screaming and yelling, oh shit and hell no, was... They would have had me taken away. Haha. <laughs>